Hello and welcome my dear students. This is your English teacher Ms. Azmat Kausar. Today I will be telling you a wonderful story. Tell me how many of you like hearing stories? I guess all of you love hearing stories. And I guess the most interesting story which you want to hear is about ghosts. So today I will tell you a story that is filled with thrill and fun. It is about Sir Lolly's ghost. The story is written by Asha Nehemiah. Let's see what the story has for you all. Sir Lolly's boarding school. It was a 200 years old school. Sir Lolly's boarding school was famous for two types of residents. Students and ghosts. The building was such that it was a paradise for ghosts. There were huge sun blotting trees, gloomy corridors which hardly received sunlight due to high ventilators. It offered the opportunity for devil creatures to scare boys day and night. But Arjun, who was a newcomer, did not believe in ghosts. Worst was, Arjun mocked the story of Sir Lolly, who was a legendary ghost that carried a blood-stained pillow. The other boys planned to teach Arjun a lesson, as he dared to laugh at the chief ghost of the school. So, a boy named Rohan planned to teach him a lesson. He used his own pillow, a long-handled broom, the kind used for cleaning cobwebs. In order to make the broom invisible in the dark, he smeared the bamboo handle with damp mud. He instructed other boys in the dorm how to behave on the night of the ghostly visit. Rohan practiced how the pillow would appear floating and how terrifying the effect would be. That night, everyone slept late due to excitement, but Rohan was tired by the morning's grueling marathon practice that he slept quite early. When he woke up, he realized he overslept. He saw his alarm clock. It was 3 a.m. Not too late for the ghost to make its appearance. He decided to tiptoe out of his bed. But just then, he heard a familiar grating sound which warned him that the dormitory door was being opened. It was unlike for housemaster to pay such a late visit. Then, who did the soft steps belong to? When Rohan discovered the reason, fear crept down his spine, for advancing slowly into the dormitory was a blood-stained pillow being held by a pair of ghostly hands. He was terrified by the fact that they were not attached to any figure. Rohan fumbled under his bed, wondering any of the boys had decided to start the trick without him. To his surprise, the pillow which he prepared was there only which meant he was Sir Lolly. Rohan's heart thudded wildly. Ghost! His voice emerged 
only as a feeble whisper. There's a ghost, he tried again and some boys woke up. Seeing the pillow, the boys assumed that Rohan's plans was working. Some boy giggled, screamed and pretended to be afraid of. There was so much confusion that nobody noticed Rohan was sitting stiffly and terrified on his bed. The boys had fun. A little later, they remembered the target of the trick was Arjun. To their satisfaction, they saw Arjun's eyes were red with horror. The boys were filled with admiration for what they assumed was Rohan's superb acting. How were they to know that the prefect was not acting? Poor Rohan was haunted of the dreadful vision. He was still trembling with fear. The next few days were among the worst in Rohan's life. He was easily startled by slightest sound which made him jump in terror. He was not into anything. He was tired and extremely sad. He went to the kids' room where all the washed uniforms were stored in rows of neatly numbered compartments. He overheard the conversation of Matron and Dhobi. The matron was scolding the Dhobi for not washing the clothes properly. The Dhobi defended his work by stating how difficult it was to wash off red ink marks. Rohan froze and thought, was this pillowcase blooded with red ink? To become ghostly pillow? Did it belong to him? As students of lollies mark their names in everything they that belonged to them. Matron was aware of the same and she snatched the pillowcase from Dhobi to examine. She read the name Arjun Krishna Swami. This new boy was getting words day by day. She said the other day he had taken white gloves from band room and stuffed it with clay that looked like a pair of white hands after they had dried up. When Matron saw Arjun standing there, she asked him the reason for standing there still, with a pale face as if he had seen a ghost. But Rohan had not seen a ghost. For now, everything was clear in front of Rohan. He was really angry with what Arjun had done. He burst out laughing, mixed with anger and hysteria. Both the matron and the dhubi were puzzled with Rohan's behavior. So students, the end of the story. Now you'll tell me, did the story really had any ghost? Kindly think of it. Till then, thank you. Bye-bye.